hello, hello, Tommy Mid-Sip. Trying to hydrate before speaking engagement. Um, welcome to Prego Expo Day 2. Hope you all are enjoying yourself a lot. Um, I am Dina from Thule, um, and we're going to learn all about the Thule Active with Kids. Um, please write in the chat box um, any questions that you might have. I'm going to try to kind of scroll through and answer any specific questions that I can do so you really kind of get that booth experience. Um, so super exciting. I hopped on yesterday for a little bit. Um, hope you guys had a chance to kind of look at our video and kind of see what Thule is about. Um, so Thule as a company. Thule is a Swedish company. Um, started in 1942, most well known for our like bike racks and rooftop car boxes, really that outdoor active lifestyle. Our hashtag is bring your life. So we want to be able to help you bring in a safe and stylish manner things that are important to you. So um, maybe before baby, it's your bike or your snowboard or your kayak or even just your laptop and your nice clothes to go on a vacation with our beautiful luggage lines that we have and offer. Um, so lots of different options to get you out into the world. Um, and now that we're at the Prego Expo, that is going to include a baby or two bringing your family along. Um, if you love to travel, my husband and I love to travel. So that was something that was really important to keep in our lives once we had kids and my kids are amazing airplane and global travelers. They've done it since they were six months old. It's just part of their lifestyle. If you are a runner, you're going to want to keep running after you have a baby. It's going to be great for your mental health. If you're a skier, you're going to want to keep skiing. If you're a biker, you're going to keep biking, whatever it is that you love to do. Um, you're going to need to keep doing it in some way after you have a baby um, for your mental health and your family health and just that happiness that's great for you and your family. Um, so we are here to help you get your family out and about in the um, best way possible. So um, in the baby world, let me just turn my phones on silent so we don't get interrupted. Um, so we're going to go through our strollers. Um, and then some of our other outdoor activities. So you'll see a bike trailer here. And apparently my three-year-old was playing with my setup earlier. Um, hiking backpack. And then I also have some bike seats that we can kind of talk through later on. Um, so probably most, um, I'm just gonna go through the, the features of each product and then maybe try to tailor um, some of the questions that I'm seeing or that I saw on our booth page. If I don't get to your question today, head over to the booth page or send me a direct message on Hopin. Um, you can also find me on Facebook. Um, so if you have questions afterwards, we can connect on Facebook. I'm in the Prego Expo August page on Facebook as well. Um, so lots of opportunity to really get your questions answered. Um, so we are. Um, going to start with our strollers. So I'm going to start with our newest stroller. Let me take out my extra items. So this is the Thule Spring Stroller. So it was launched in February of, of this year, so right before everything shut down. So you may not have had a chance to see it in stores yet. Um, but as People are venturing back out. Hopefully you can get out and check it out in person. The Thule Spring, it's kind of your great all-purpose stroller. The nice thing about the Thule products, especially in the Active with Kids collection, is that they're all global SKUs. So you're going to find Thule Spring, the same exact stroller in the U.S., in Canada, in Germany, in Australia. Anywhere that it's sold, it's the same stroller. So we, Thule is meeting or exceeding the highest safety standards throughout the world. Um, all Thule Active With Kids products um, are free of harmful materials. So BPA, PVC, 
really great high quality products, but safety really is first. So the Thule Spring itself, it's gonna be your quick, easy three wheel stroller. Um, nice, compact, but still that full size um, mobility. So you have your great big canopy. This is the beautiful teal melange color. Um, it's kind of like a nice robin's egg, beautiful. Um, UPS 50 canopy. And then you do have an expansion as well as beautiful mesh breezeway for more airflow. We have a nice recline, so almost flat, almost full, live flat here. Again, more breezeway airflow here. The seat itself is going to start at six months in the seat. And it's gonna go up to a weight limit of 64 pounds. So huge weight limit. My seven-year-old still hops in here when he gets super lazy. Um, before six months, we do have car seat adapters. You just pop onto the sides. Uh, all of our strollers adapt with either Kiko brand car seats or Maxi Cozy style car seats. So you're gonna have Cybex, Nuna, Maxi Cozy, even Clack for specific models that work with each stroller. Um, you can head to Thule.com and there's a car seat compatibility guide or stop in at your um, favorite retailer and they should be able to help you out with that. Um, no recline harness, so easy, just slide up and down to adjust those harnesses and a five point harness in the seat. One handed adjustable handlebar, great, lots of good options here for that. A nice big open basket on the bottom. It holds up to um, 11 pounds of weight in here, so great capacity. And then also a nice elastic pocket on the back for quick access. We do have all the accessories, so you can get a snack tray, a bumper bar, um, a cup holder that can go on either the right or left side, which is really great, or two if you want, um, a parent organizer. And we also have the option to add a skateboard to it. I can get my sample off. So this is our standing board in the depth to both the Thule Spring and the Thule Sleek that we'll talk about in a minute. So you can add that so it'll become a standing double. So if you have two, that'll be a nice, great, it's a great everyday stroller, a great travel stroller, great grandparent stroller, um, what I call a car stroller because it's a little bit more compact. You can fold it up, throw it in your car. The best feature is the fold. So up under the seat, it's a nice one-handed fold. Just collapses down, and those back wheels fold in to create kind of a tripod. It's self-standing. Great if you like to go into restaurants, throw it up on the side. It's out of the way. If you have a smaller apartment and you need storage or like to tuck it away, in the closet. Um, it's gonna be 30% smaller than the competition style like this. Um, nice and compact, throw it in your car. We also have a travel bag. So if you do travel, you can throw it in the travel bag. Keep it nice and safe. Check it if you're doing airplane travel um, or gate check it, whatever you like to do. Great little stroller. Let me fold back, let me scroll back up and see if there's some questions that are working with this. Um, Canopy. Um, lots of beautiful comments. Yes, our colors, we have some great colors. Um, have fun seat liners that can go in any of our strollers. So if you want a really nice pop of color, that's something fun. Um, teal is not the only color for now. We do have a full line of colors for the Thule Spring. You can head to Thule.com to check out the full array of colors um, and may have some new colors coming out for next year. So if you're not in a rush, 
Um, replacement parts, yes, we do sell spare parts. You just want to call it contact to the customer service for that. Um, and we can help you out. Um, great. Um, so the Thule Spring starts at um, $3.59 for their price, uh, depending on the model and um, the color fashion you get, but starting price is $3.59 for this. And this is actually the stroller that's part of the grand prize option for the Prado Expo. So someone's going to win a beautiful Thule Spring. Very exciting. Um, yeah, so I'm going to move on to our next one. Um, so this is the Thule Spring. One thing to call out on this, it is three wheels. It has great suspension. It is not a jogger. All joggers are three wheels. Not all three wheel strollers are joggers. Something very important to call out. Um, I see that a lot when I'm out and about. People jogging with strollers that are not joggers. Um, so just important, and we'll talk more about jogging when I get to our jogging stroller, but this is just your standard everyday three wheel. It does have really nice rubber wheels, foam filled, so they're maintenance free, great traction, high quality rubber wheels on that. Okay, let's move on to Thule Sleek. So Thule Sleek is your, our four wheel stroller, your true like city stroller. It's that modular style that is so popular. So if you are on baby number one and you're saying, I just want to buy one stroller, I may expand my family later on, um, but I'm not sure, this is that stroller option. So Tuli Sleek starts as your standard four wheel modular stroller. So out of the box, you're looking something like this. Beautiful, large toddler seat to a huge canopy. UPF 50 plus, so beautiful sun protection. I have it opened all the way right now. So this is your standard. You have the expansion. You have a peekaboo window, magnetic, so you're not going to wake up baby with some Velcro. Um, again, breezeway here for nice airflow. We have a huge handlebar going up and down. And then this is your giant foot brake down below. Nice big tires up and down. Um, nice recline. So you do have a full recline. So again, almost full 180. Um, the seat itself is again going to be a six month seat. And this goes up to almost 50 pounds in weight. No rethread harnesses, so easy adjustability. The fun thing about this with our canopy is that our canopies actually slide up on the seat frame for both the standard toddler seat and the sibling seat that goes below. So it'll give you a little bit of extra height as your children grow, which is a really nice thing. This is our black on black color with our teal melange seat liner popped on. So seat liners are a really nice accessory. Not only do they add like a nice pop of color, you can change out per child or per season, um, but they're cleanly. So you just can rip them out, throw these in the washer if they have messes or whatever, and it still keeps your stroller seat really nice and clean. So love a good seat liner. Adjustable foot rest. Again, so six months up to just about 50 pounds on the toddler seat. If you want to use it before six months, we have car seat adapters. So you would just leave your seat at home. You can pop your car seat adapters on, again, Maxi Cozy style or Kiko. Um, we do have a bassinet option as well. So if you are in love with a bassinet, we have that as an option for you for this. Some other great features for the Thule Sleep, um, you get, our basket is actually a covered basket. So it's a water resistant zippered covered basket. So it's nice and tidy. 
great if you go to the park and you kind of throw your keys and wallet underneath, it's out of sight. Um, if you get caught in a sprinkle, I used to keep like a couple of loose diapers and a swaddle blanket in there. And when I fold it, it would just stay nice and in there, kind of like an extra diaper bag. But if you're going to go out and do like a day of mall shopping or you do your grocery shopping, then you can pop it open, convert it to this nice big open drop basket, more traditional style of stroller basket. Um, so we do have nice big rubberized wheels, reflective coating on all the wheels, as well as lining on the canopies. So if you're out walking at night, you're going to get good reflective safety note on that. Easy. Nice suspension. It actually has the same suspension in the rear as an our jogger, so it's a beautiful push. Um, and then your fold, let me take these out. Um, you can fold it with the seat on, but I'm just going to leave it off for now because it's already off. The two handed fold, lock and close. It will self stand. It has an internal locking mechanism, which is kind of nice. So when I'm ready to unfold, I'm going to use those same folding triggers to open it up, and it opens right back up. Um, when my first was born, the feature that I fell in love with as a stroller is the reversible seat. Just really, really loved that option. So yes, you can have baby facing out, but if you're like we were living in the city at the time, lots of street festivals downtown. Just love a good reversible seat. It's nice for communication, but also really great to kind of keep, you know, dogs and grandmas and just people from reaching into your stroller. Baby can still see and enjoy everything and really talk to him. And then you get to really communicate what is going on. So I love a reversible seat. It's probably one of my favorite features in a stroller. Um, and then when the family grows, you have the option to build this into a double. So we give you these adapters. When you purchase the second seat, all the adapters come in the box when you purchase your second seat. Um, throw these down here. So I have my sibling seat. Again, it's fully functioning, same exact model as the toddler seat, adjustable canopy, recline, adjustable footrest, no rethread harness. It's just a smaller version. So weight capacity here is 30 pounds on the sibling seat. So it is a little bit smaller. You want the heavier weight over the back wheels for an easier push, more balance. And then here you go. I always set it up in this option, um, but you can have them both facing forward. You can have them both facing you. You can have them facing each other or both facing out. So it's really um, customizable to what your family needs. You can also put car seat on it. So you can put a car seat either in place. You can put two car seats on it. You can put a bassinet. You can put two bassinets. Bassinet and a car seat. There's tons of options to customize what works for you and your family needs. And then if you want to be super crazy, add the standing board, room for three kids, and you got your whole family on one place ready to go. So, really great, easy stroller, very maneuverable. I've had parents use this fully loaded. They say the push still is great. Um, nice big, the wheel, the front wheels are lockable. So if you're going through a little bit more of like a gravel train, let's say pumpkin patch or apple picking, um, you can lock those to give yourself a little bit of a stronger push. And we have a travel bag for the sleek as well. I, mine is seeing the world. I pack it up, check it when we lock, when we check our suitcases and good to go. I love traveling with my full-size stroller. Um, let me see what we got going on for some questions. Um, C 
Standing board is great. I love a good standing board. Um, I have two kids. They are now ages seven and three. Um, so I love, I take the single, I take my standing board. They kind of go back and forth depending on who wants to sit, who wants to ride. Our standing board is nice and big and sturdy so they can actually sit crisscross on it, which is really nice. Um, even if you only have one kid, I think a standing board is an excellent idea, especially when they get to that toddler age um, and they don't want to ride in the stroller, but they don't, you know that walking is going to be an issue. Um, so a standing board is awesome. Um, yes, yeah, so purchasing options, um, we are carried pretty much everywhere that you could buy baby products. So Bye Bye Baby, um, Amazon, Nordstrom, we actually have a few items on the Nordstrom anniversary sale right now. Um, so there's a few more days for that. Some great options. Um, Thule Spring is on there with an accessory pack and it's a steal. So if that's interested to you, I would definitely check it out at um, Thule anniversary or the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Um, you can buy from Thule Direct, um, REI, Specialty dealers, um, if you head to Thule.com, you can use uh, the Locally app on our website and that will show you exactly who kind of in your radius um, sells Thule. Um, yes, replacement parts, you contact Thule Direct for um, replacements. Thule has some of the best warranty in the business. We actually have a limited lifetime warranty on all of our um, products um, so it's excellent our customer service is amazing um, and then the the amount of testing that our, we send our products through is ridiculous to really exceed those standards of use um, so it's great so Thule spring is walking you know light hiking whatever um, every day um, Thule Sleek is walking, maybe a little bit of easy, easy trail, but it is more of like your city urban stroller. Um, and then we will get over to the Thule Urban Glide, which is going to be your all terrain. Um, So I'm just going back. Um, does the baby face forward or can you move baby facing you? I don't, you can reverse the seats on the Thule Sleek if that's what you're asking about. So I'm not um, quite sure. So four wheel stroller versus a three wheel stroller. Um, you'll have people say that you want that a three wheel is more maneuverable. Um, I think it's all in the quality of the stroller in general. I love a good four wheel stroller. I like the look of them better, more of that preemmy style. Um, it really kind of depends on what features you want. Typically the three wheel strollers are gonna fold up quicker, more of a one step fold. Um, they're going to maybe be a little bit more compact in their fold. Um, but you probably won't have the reversible seat feature, which is something that I love, especially if I'm getting it for more of a newborn situation. Um, I can see my kids would do a three wheel with a standing board all day long, just something nice and simple. My kids don't want to look at me anymore. Um, but if you're starting fresh with a newborn, I would really see if that reversible seat feature is something that interests you. I loved it. I kept my first facing me until I think he was almost two, he just loved it. And we would, we would, you know, interact with each other. And it was just really a great thing. Um, maybe my second kid hated it. So he always faced forward, but you never know. But if it's something that you think you as a mom would want, if your kid is okay with it, then I would definitely get it. You have to love your stroller. It is a minimum three year purchase, usually more of a four, especially if you get something like a sleek that's adaptable for three kids and you plan on having multiple kids, possibly a 10 year purchase. You're going to be using it, folding it every day, multiple times a day. 
Um, so you really need to love, love, love your stroller. I would always, I always tell my parents, choose your stroller first and then go back and choose your car seat, um, depending on what the stroller is adaptable to, because the, um, you're always gonna have at least a good three options, if not more, for car seats with strollers. Um, and then if you start with a car seat, it really kind of makes it more difficult to find a stroller that you necessarily love. You're only gonna use that infant car seat for nine months, and it's truly a car seat to keep your child safe in the vehicle versus using it on a stroller every day. Um, the Thule Sleek you can use as a twin. You can put two bassinets. So that's this one behind me. Um, you can put two car seats. The only um, exception would be once the twins get older, depending on kind of how big they are, um, the sibling seat only holds up to 33 pounds. So it is a smaller seat versus the almost 50 pounds of the top seat. But chances are, in my experience with twins, is that you're probably not having two twins that still want to sit in a seat when they're three years old. You're going to have one that wants to run and one that wants to sit, if not two that want to run. So you could always just go back to the standard toddler seat and the skateboard or the standing board at that time. Um, so that's an option for you. And then we do have a side-by-side -side option that I'll talk about coming up. Um, yes, we have a Kiko adapter for all of our strollers. So not an option. Any of our strollers work with a Kiko. Um, Seat liners are great. They're definitely, they're not really made to add. I mean, they're they're padded. Let me see if I can find one here. Um, so a seat liner is, I mean, it's not meant to take up a ton of your seat. Um, it is padded, it's nice and cushy, so it'll add a little bit to it, but you gotta remember like they're gonna have a big diaper on too. So they don't probably need a, a lot of extra padding. Um, it's not an infant insert, so it's not made for that. It really is made for like a pop of color, easy cleaning, just something kind of fun, an accessory. Um, micro preemies, that's, I, I don't feel comfortable really chatting on that. That's a car seat, more of a car seat situation. So I would definitely get into a preemie group and really talk about those. Um, I haven't done those specialty classes on micro preemies. I can talk car seats and, and um, I am a, a car seat tax, so I'm happy to talk like basic car seat, but I, I don't get into the preemie stuff, sorry. Um, can we buy just the base? Will it work with other seats? I don't really understand that question. Are the strollers work with Thule Sleek only? So if you had a different stroller, it would not be compatible. Um, Okay, let's move on to the next stroller. I lost track of time. Great. So, Thule Urban Glide. This is kind of our claim to fame when it comes to the stroller family. This is your all-terrain hybrid everyday stroller and jogger. So, jogging strollers, you will notice, they are all going to be on the longer side to spread out the impact, make it more aerodynamic. They all have to have giant wheels. So this is a wheel in the rear. Um, minimum for a front wheel. I don't remember the exact minimum to be considered a jogger, um, but it does need to be a three wheel. All joggers are three wheels. Um, it needs to have big wheels. Ours are air filled. So there is a little bit of that air maintenance, but nothing more difficult than pumping up your bike tires. The PSI is all on the side. And then your lockable front wheel. So when you are running, we're going to lock it in this inward position. And then you're good to go for running. Um, we start jogging or even the heavier activities, the biking, the hiking with babies once they are about six to nine months. Once you get your pediatrician's approval, the baby's hitting all their benchmarks and they're good to go for that higher impact activity. I mean, it's gonna be a lot of 
bouncing. So you got to make sure that they have that neck control. They're good to go for that higher impact activity. And I see this a lot directly in the seat. No car seats for jogging. No bassinets for jogging. Directly in the seat. So our seat is six months of age. We should not be running earlier than six months of age. Um, you can use it before six months with a car seat. We sell car seat adapters, we sell a bassinet, but that is purely for the strolling purposes of it, not for the higher impact activities. So Julie or Glide, this is your single option. It does also come in a side-by-side -side double option. Um, six months, up to 75 pounds. The double goes up to 100 pounds weight capacity. So you are going to get your life out of this stroller. Really nice seat. Again, no rethread harness, so easy adjustability. Tons of pocket for little ones to shove their toys or water bottles in here. Nice big canopy. Again, we do have the UPF 50. You have your reflective trim and trim on the tires, reflective. And then a little bit of an expansion with some air flowing here. Another peekaboo window. Again, magnetic, so if baby is sleeping, you're not gonna wake them up with that. And then moving around to the backs, we have a recline, so you're gonna get a nice deep recline. Um, again, more airflow. I take our side-by-side -side when we go to Disney. On the side-by-side -side double, the canopies work independently of each other. The recline works independently of each other. Um, my seven-year-old, passes out comfy cozy in here. You really get a ton when you're reclined and the canopy is fully extended. You get a ton of sun coverage. It's really great, amazing, nice airflow when you pop that back up. Breezeway, it's a great double stroller. Um, we have the, another pocket behind the seat as well as your covered storage basket. Great weather resistant. Again, great for that privacy. Really important if you are using this for jogging, keep your products nice and safe. They're not going to pop out if you hit, hit a bump. But if you are using this for like a farmer's market or something, there's a little pocket up at the front. You can tuck this away in so it becomes more of that open drop shopper. Um, another zipper pocket back here. This is your giant parking brake. So nice, big, easy parking brake. And then we have our rolling handbrake in the handlebar. So that's gonna give you just extra maneuver or extra control if you're going down the hill, picking up speed, just really help you control the stroller a little bit more. And then a nice, big, adjustable handlebar. If we tuck our handlebar all the way under, I'm gonna show you the beautiful fold. So our fold is up under the footrest, fold and twist, it'll actually stand on its own so again this is a big full-size stroller so it is going to take up a little bit more space but it is still very compact if you need it even more you can pop these back wheels off and really make it super compact i fly with our side-by-side -side double of this when we do like a disney vacation so it's definitely doable um, we have all the accessories again, car seat adapters, bassinet, snack tray, cup holders, parent organizer, really great items. Um, we do have that side-by-side. -side. So the side-by-side -side is great. Can be used for twins again, goes up to 100 pounds, but it's gonna be twins once they are six months and up. You cannot do two car seats or two bassinets to it is the only thing. So you can't put one car seat or one bassinet when it's um, the side-by-side -side double, um, but you can't do two. So it just kind of depends on what you think you need. If you're having twins and you want kind of that snap and go carrier for the first few months with the car seats, um, and then maybe you get something like that when you're six months or over. Um, the nice thing about our Urban Glide is that we have the car seat adapters for Kiko. We have the car seat adapters for Mexi Cozy Nuna, Cybex, 
And we also have a universal car seat adapter. So that will work with about 99% of car seats on the market. So great option. Um, let me just go through some of the comments. Um, the Thule Urban Glide, I wanna mention, is the lightest um, jogging stroller in its class a good five to seven pounds lighter than its competitors. Um, it's very compact for a jogger. It's a beautiful, easy push. We have professional marathoners that pick it um, naturally as one of the top joggers for them. People that use it, they, they just love it. Um, uh, let's see, yes, Truly sleek, the double, the seats can face pretty much any direction you want. So they can face each other, face out, both face forward, both face back. Um, um, our Thule Urban Glide um, starts at $499.95. The Thule Spring starts at $359. And the Thule um, Sleek, starts at 829 for the single. Um, uh, okay, let's move on to just making sure there's nothing. Um, and again, if I'm missing something or um, not understanding it, um, then please send me a um, message either on here or you can find me on Facebook. Um, I put my Facebook on the booth page. So if you wanna, wanna message me on there, that would be great um, to get more of your, your, your answers. Um, we are not doing a discount code, unfortunately, um, but we do, um, run run specials several times throughout the year. And like I said, we do have um, several items on the Nordstrom anniversary sale right now. Um, so that will be um, great. Oh, my eyebrows, thank you so much. I worked hard. <laughs> um, okay, so let's go to, um, let's go to the outdoor equipment. So. This is our Thule Coaster XT bike trailer. So really, bike trailers, really popular this year. Love it. And they all kind of, the Thule bike trailers all kind of serve dual purposes. So lots of fun with these. I was never a big biker before I had kids. Um, and now having two boys, like biking is just something that we do all the time and I love it. And this bike trailer, we will continue to use once my kids are way out of it because it's just so, it's like an extra trunk. It's amazing. So it comes out of the box with two options. You're gonna have the strollering kit, which is this front wheel right here, and then also your bike hitch, which I have connected here. So this goes on the real, rear wheel of your bike, um, and you're gonna take out that back axle and just thread it on and put it back on. And I promise you, it is not that scary. I did it by myself and it took about five minutes and I am not that person. So it's very simple. Anyone can do it. If I can do it, it's really great. Um, so you have a two seater. The Coaster XT only comes in the double format. Again, no rethread harnesses, nice little pad here, up to a hundred pound weight limit. We are not biking with kids in this until they are six to nine months. We say able to support a bike helmet. So you're gonna have that neck support, able to support a helmet. Fun thing, all of our bike have what's called a, a helmet shelf. So there's a little extra bit of netting in the back so kids aren't pushed down. For the right, they actually get to sit up. There's space for that helmet in the back and they can actually enjoy the view that you're going on. So the climate, um, you have an integrated mesh, so it'll keep dirts and bits and wind and all of that stuff out. An integrated attached rain shield, so you're never going to get stuck without it. Um, 
And then also, this is your integrated sunshade. So you can put that down, it'll kind of help visor it out a little bit. If we turn around to the back, then you have this beautiful cargo space back here. So tons of space in the back. I can fit a good cooler or two folding chairs. I mean, I load this up. We took it on vacation with us as our beach, just trail it along. It is amazing what you can do. If you're not using the sun visor, it actually flips around and becomes your cover for your cargo. It is great. Ride your bikes to wherever you're going, like movies in the park or something. Fill this up with whatever you need. And then once you get to your destination, unhook it from your bike. Put the stroller wheel on, and then you're good to go. Excellent. So this is biking and stroller ring only. It does fold for easier storage and transporting. Big, nice, um, like bicycle tires in the back, so they are air filled. Uh, we have another line called the ooh, called the um, Thule Coast uh, Thule Chariot Cross. That's the Thule Coaster Thule Chariot Cross. Um, and that is really awesome bike trailer. Again, out of the box, you get a bike attachment as well as your strollering. That's going to be your four wheel stroller look to it. Um, it's in our promo video at our booth. So if you want to check that out, um, and then that's the one that can actually be a four in one. So you can turn it into a jogger and you can also turn it into a cross country skier. So if that's your thing, um, super fun really exciting um love that one as well again none of those heavy activities until six to nine months the child can support a bike helmet um pediatrician's approval all of that good stuff um i want to showcase these but i didn't have them out the other day so these are two seats from our bike seat family um so this is the Thule yep next family um and it's Great, really fun. So we have our maxi and our minis. So we have three different lines of bike seats. They all have a maxi and a mini. So we'll kind of just talk broadly right now. The minis all go on the front on your handlebar shaft. So I'm biking, I have my handlebar, my arms are around baby. It's really great to really get them associated. Um, you can, you have your arms around them, you can talk to them. Um, we have a nice pad. We have a, a pad with a cute little bunny character. We even have a windshield option. So if you're fearful of like them getting dirt in their eyes, but this is great. This has a 33 pound weight limit. So it is going to age out a little bit quicker, um, but it's nice and padded. It's super lightweight. It's the same material that like a crock is made out of. Adjustable foot straps to strap their feet in. They can kind of feel like they're driving as well. Um, love it. Magnetic harness. Um, so it's very difficult for them to undo, but quick and easy for you to get them in and out. And a quick in and off, you can buy the adapter. Um, one adapter comes with it to put on your handlebar. You can buy another one separately. So if mom and dad both want, like my husband and I both have, um, we both have hitches on both of our bikes. We have the front adapters on both of our bikes. Um, and then this is your maxi. So this is going to be your rear mount, kind of the more traditional that we see in the U.S. So sitting behind you. Um, this is our rack mount option. So if you have a rack on the back of your bike, this is a good option. We also have frame mount options. Um, it kind of is just dependent on your bike, um, what you have. If you want to get a, a rack or you want to try just your frame, um, for bike seat fits, if you truly don't know, I would suggest going to your local bike dealer. Um, they most likely carry Thule. Um, and if they don't, they can probably look at the specs. There's fit guides on our website um, and they can tell you how it'll fit and what would work best for you. They're pretty universal. So chances are it's gonna fit on your bike. Um, but again, they have the foot straps. These are adjustable to get a nice comfy fit. Same Magnum harness. This goes up to almost 50 pounds in it. Um, so it's a really nice and high shield. Again, um, my seven year old, he can hop in here, he doesn't, but he can, and it's nice and comfy. Um, and it's a great option for getting your kids on the bike. We have one of these on my husband's bike. And even though my three year old rides his bike, 
he'll get tired, we pop him in here, throw the bike in our bike trailer on our longer rides and we're good to go. We're that crazy family that does silly things like that. Um, and then last but not least, our sapling hiking backpack. So really great, um, lots of storage capacity here, easy in and out, fully adjustable saddle seat. The harness is a slide harness, so you're gonna be able to get an easy fit between you and, and parents. This is just a really fun, if you're a big hiker, something that I would look into is the sapling family. Um, again, six to nine months. There is, it's not your baby carrier, it is a hiking backpack, so it's not gonna offer neck support. So it's gonna be that six to nine months again. Um, I'm just gonna kind of scroll through some of these and see if there's anything. We have about five, five more minutes. Um, so let me see if there's anything. Um, for specific car seat models, I see asking about specific Kiko car seat model. Off the top of my head, I don't remember specifics, but there's a full list. So if you go to Thule.com, choose the stroller you want, and then find the um, car seat adapter. It'll say either Kiko or Maxi Cozy style, and it'll it'll have a list, a compatibility list for that. So you can check it that way. Um, stroller heavy. That is really going to be a trial and error process. Um, heavy is one of those things that is perceptive. So I would really encourage you to go to your local dealer and try picking up a few things. It's going to be awkward because you're most likely pregnant right now and you have a belly and maybe aches and pains. But I always tell my parents, you don't have your, your mom arms yet. Um, and what, what is heavy to you? Are you just picking up and putting it in your car? Because I could pick up a lot heavier things just doing that. Or are you having to walk up a third floor, um, carry a stroller up like three flights of stairs to your apartment? So you really need to talk lifestyle when you get to that. Um, and before you know it, you're going to be walking around making dinner one-handed while carrying an eight-pound kid a lot of the time. So um, those are things that are really kind of perceptive on your different lifestyles. So I would encourage you to go to the store, try it out. Um, if you have more specific questions or you really wanna talk about lifestyle and what, how to kind of narrow down types of strollers for you, um, please send me a direct message either on here or find me on Facebook um, and we can chat through then. Um, Bike trailer starts at six to nine months um, and then caps out at 100 pounds. So whatever that means for you for age range. Um, I get having a stroller that could be off-road. I mean, all terrain is gonna be your jogging strollers or a bike trailer. Um, I have a lot of different strollers, so if you want to, I'm, I'll go for it. I love I love my strollers. Um, bike trailer can definitely be used as a stroller. Um, this one, it has a more of a smaller front wheel, the, the Chariot series, I definitely use as a stroller all the time. I love it, it's excellent, but that's the purpose of this. So the, the front wheel goes away when you're biking, and then when you get to your destination, pop the front wheel back on and you have your stroller. Um, this one is not a jogger. The chariot can convert to a jogger. Um, travel system, I'll just comment on that really fast. So travel system is really just a one box solution for buying a car seat and a stroller, easy packaging. Um, whereas like 99% of all strollers will accept car seat. So find your stroller that you love, because that's your mode of transportation for three to 10 years, depending on your family plan. Um, find a stroller that you love that has all the features that you want out of it. And then you'll definitely be able to find a car seat. You'll have several options and various price ranges for you to get a car seat for. Um, Um, bike seats, there are um, 
yeah, they work on pretty much most bikes. Again, you can check out the fit guide, um, go to your bike local bike shop and they can help you make sure it's a good fit. Um, but we have the dimensions on the guides on our website. So you can kind of check out to make sure that your bike will fit with it. Um, the hiking backpacks, um, not heavy at all, starts at, um, it's seven and a half pounds, empty. And we'll hold up to 50 pounds. Um, Thule does not make a car seat. So you will not find a Thule car seat. Um, so we are adaptable to other car seats on the market. Um, I, Disney compatible, we are. I haven't checked recently. I think they just did a quick little update, but yes, Disney, because I'm a huge, huge Disney person. Um, assembly, very easy. Come out of the box, pop the wheels on. Easy, easy peasy. Great out of box experience. Um, we have rain shields, um, foot muffs if you're in colder weather, um, seat liners. Have not heard complaints about hot weather. I mean, hot weather is hot weather, but I do get that comment a lot that if it's if it's black fabric, does it get heated up easily? Not the case. They're great, um, high quality products. Really, all of those things that you might be questioning, we have probably thought of in the engineering of this product. So I know it's something that you all are going to love. I'm so happy that I was able to expose you to Thule. For most of you, it's something brand new, wasn't on your radar. I encourage you to check with the, um, the men in your lives may have heard of Thule in terms of bike racks and rooftop boxes. Um, I usually ping the dads in when they figure out that, yes, it's that same Thule. Um, and if dad is fully in love with, with a stroller, I would probably let him choose the stroller. If dad gets excited about something, let him go all in. We don't have a wagon, fingers crossed, sometime soon. I love a good wagon, but I would look at the chariot for that. That's a great option. Um, and yeah, please send me any direct messages that you guys have, either on Prego, send comments at the booth. I'm checking it regularly for the next two days, or you can find me on Facebook. Um, thank you and have a great rest of your day.